Okay, we are back today. I'd like to continue our series on Van Hub. The virtual machine would be Napier, and、uh, I will put the link into the description section below, so that you can download it. Before we begin to this video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel first. I do appreciate your help and support. And also leave a like below if you,、uh, if you like this video. Okay, without further ado, let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the VMware workstation. So now I can go inside、uh, this kind of Linux. As you can see, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine. Or target as one hundred and eighty-six, and then I did. Please、uh, forget this section. I mistype my commands, and、uh, as you can see, I did the nmap scanning with sync scan, the versus scan, the default script scan, and also the comprehensive scan or full range port scan. From the map scanning results, as you can see over here, there are several open ports.、Mm, to be specific, the three open ports. The first one is twenty-two, which is running SSH service, and also the actual、uh, virtual information. Of course, as we know, although this is not out updated version, but、uh, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. Still. And the second one is eighty, which is running HTTP. Maybe, yeah, because there is a question mark in the end. And the last one is one eight nine eight, which is running HTTP surface, and also the actual version information. So what we are going to do next is to some to do some emulation for the eighty port and the next one. Okay, let's open up our browser. Yeah, this is just、uh, some introduction of this、uh, virtual machine or target. It's easy, and also you can check the source code, but、uh, you will not find anything. And then we can check whether this site has robots file configured, but not. So and then we can use the Ligato or Gobasta to do some emulation for this port number, the eighty. But I can tell you, we cannot find anything from this port number. So I think we need to turn our attention to the last one. The last one, the the port number is one eight nine eight, and this is the Lampier、uh, website. And、uh, I think we can post and can make login. And also, you can check whether this logging、uh, panel has weak password like admin, admin. But、uh, sorry, the username or password is incorrect. Also, we can try some like、uh, login bypass technique, but、uh, will not succeed at all. So I think now also we can check whether the this site has robots file. Yeah, a lot of robots file, and、um, I think、uh, we can get、uh, some here. As you can see, the change lock. Of course, you can go through all the, these、uh, files because this will. Maybe will leak some confidential or sensitive information about the version. Even sometimes will leak some credentials information. But here to save time, I just I just like to take a look at this file. Change lock. So I think、uh, from this file we can know, we can get to know some information about the version of CMS. 
The CMS is Drupal, and the version is seven dot five five four. I think this information is very important. Next, we need to check whether this version of Drupal has vulnerability. What we can do? We can use the command search sprite Drupal. Yeah, there are several. Uh, several exploits or vulnerabilities. So I, as you can see, the meta exploit has uh, some modules which work in this case. So maybe you know the meta exploit is so powerful, uh, which uh, usually is my、uh, first option when I do the、uh, penetration test. Okay, and we can launch the meta exploit console. Then we can search Drupal, and there's several modules,、uh, except auxiliary, and there are also some、uh, exploit module, and of course you can try one by one because this would be、uh, very easy to try. We just need to set some options or fields, and then to see whether this module is working or not. But、uh, I will not do、uh, for all of the modules. I just、uh, take you to look at the second one. So I'd like to use. Okay, and show options, and set local host to our kernel Linux. Set local port to five five five. Set a remote host to. One eight six set remote port to one eight nine eight. I think I have already configured all required options, and let's hit run. The target is vulnerable. Sending stage meta preta session is opened, which is very good. Okay, I now I'd like to open the shell session, and、uh, the ID, the Python, make make it interactive. Pty. Okay, go to the home directory to make some very basic local emulation. So the Tiago,、uh, but nothing here. So what can we do? Also, we can check whether the www data user can run sudo, but we didn't have the password for the uh path for the for this user. So we just、um, try three attempts to to be finished. And then we can use the command find to find commands which has suid bit, right? And you will not get some useful information. So now, what can we do? And we can go to the temp directory to upload the nimpyr shell script to this to this、uh, target. And、uh, let's open. Let's set up the web server. And、uh, let's use wget to upload the name pairs. And we can make it executable. And we can run. Okay, so I think from the kernel information, we have already know that possibly this version of kernel has local privilege escalation vulnerability. Anyway, we just wait for this to be completed 
to see whether we can find out other misconfigurations or vulnerabilities. And I'd also I'd like to tell you I tried to use the metaprater a session to uh, to uh, to see whether we can uh, directly elevate our privilege by local privilege privilege escalation suggester. You know that I have already demonstrated this module before, but I can tell you, uh, you will not uh, get what you want. Okay, so this shell script is completed. As you can see, there is some password information. Maybe we can try if we can switch to the Tiago with this password. Yes, it, it's successfully switched. But um, anyway, at this point, we didn't have get uh, got the root share or privilege, right? And uh, we can continue to scroll up to the top. As I mentioned, this version of a kernel is a bit outdated, so it must have some a uh, local privilege escalation vulnerability. And let's scroll up. Yeah, a lot of outputs. Yeah, as you can see, there are several exploits you can try. And uh, to save time, I just uh, take you to look at uh, the dirty cow. You know, the dirty cow is very, especially dirty cow 2, is very powerful when we do the, the privilege escalation. And we can make a copy of this URL. Okay, download, and we can move from downloads to our working directory, and then we need to upload this uh, this exploit file onto the target, which would be very easy. We just uh, go to the temp directory, double get. And uh, what's the file name? Yeah, this one. Okay. And we need to get instruction how to compile uh, this exploit. I think here the author has already given us the, the command which we can utilize to compile this file. I think we don't need to change anything. Paste in here. Yeah, no error. We can make it executable and run. Yeah, we have already got the root password. This is the new password. And we can switch to root user, and we can copy here. As you can see from the banner, we have already changed or elevate our privilege to root, and we can navigate to root directory, and we can cut the root flag here. Okay, so that's all I'd like to go through this virtual machine. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.